In the very crowded and competitive SUV market, it's very difficult and sometimes hard to stand out. But Hyundai is a company that doesn't take, that's not afraid to take risk. And this is an example of this. This is the very different, all new 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. It's a complete departure from the previous generation, which I, I reviewed and I'll leave a link in the video here somewhere. This is all new, complete sheet metal, very controversial design, especially at their back. Uh, front end, I personally don't mind it. I think it looks very good. And I am gonna talk about it, review it, go over all the specs of features. This is the calligraphy trim. There's about five different trims of this. There's the SE, there's the SEL, XRT, Limited, and calligraphy. You can get it in gas only, hybrid, and plug-in hybrid. Stay tuned, that is coming up next. And before I continue, I just wanna give a big thank you to Hyundai for allowing me to have these vehicles in my home test area for me to review. Thank you very much, Hyundai, and thank you all for watching, liking, and sharing my videos. Stay tuned, that's coming up next. Let's talk about the exterior of the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. The design is both bold and there I say a little bit of Land Rover Defender in some areas, making it stand out in the midsize SUV category. The white and white on my calligraphy tester is both elegant and sophisticated as you shall see in the interior portion of the video. There are 43 H shape integrated throughout the interior and the exterior. Like for example, these headlights, this is a daytime running light, which adds a very unique styling and a different touch compared to uh, all mid-size SUVs. And walking around the side, my tester is sitting on Pirelli Scorpion tires wrapped in 21 inch wheels, very large wheels. That's because of this, it is the calligraphy, uh, calligraphy trim. You got Santa, the word Santa Fe written out here on the side, LED turn signal integrated into the mirror. You do have keyless entry, so you can just put your hand inside and the car, the vehicle unlocks. And you do have a button here to lock the doors. And keeping walking around the side, you see the elements and what I mean about the Land Rover inspired design. Uh, this is also a unique touch. So you press this here, and the notion is that you use this as a grab handle. You can either step inside the door or step in the tire, and then you can climb up and you can easily load up the roof of the 2024 Santa Fe. All right, let's take a look at the cargo area of the 2024 Santa Fe. One of the standout features of the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe, it's its, car it's its cargo capacity. With all the seats folded up, you get up to 14.6 cubic feet of cargo room in the back. You fold down, you fold down all the, all the rows, it increases to 40.5 cubic feet. So for example, these seats are power folding, so you could just press this button right here and you can get, you can completely maximize your cargo carrying capability for a total of 79.6 cubic feet which is absolutely massive so um behind the third row is about 14.6 so with all the seated up and then all folded completely like like so it's about 79.6 and with the second row seats folded back up again it's a healthy 40.5 cubic feet which is very nice and should give you give families a lot of car cargo carrying flexibilities. As you saw in the video in the beginning, the cargo, uh, the tail hatch, it automatically senses you behind, that you're behind it and it opens it by itself. And of course you can have, you have power, the button to close it. And this one, you press that and you walk away and the vehicle closes its hatch and it locks it as well. And as you can see in the, in the tail lights, it has the H pattern there again, built in. All right, let's talk about the powertrain and then we go on the interior. Stay tuned for that. The 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe offers two powertrains, actually more than two. 
This particular tester has a 2.5 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine, made it to an eight speed automatic, dual clutch automatic, all wheel drive in this particular trim. And you can get a hybrid model, which drops the motor down from a 2.5 down to a 1.6 turbocharged motor uh, with a single electric motor made it to a six speed automatic, which is very different in, this, in, in hybrid form. This particular trim makes about 277 horsepower and 311 pounds feet of torque the way it is. Fuel efficiency, the, the Spite is powerful engine on the Santa Fe. It's, it's a respectable 20 miles per gallon in the city and 28 miles per gallon on the highway. All right, let's take a look at the interior, all the luxury features and tech. Stay tuned for that. Before we take inside, uh, take a look inside of the Hyundai, the 2024 Santa Fe, this will not be a Hyundai with, without its party trick. Uh, new for 2024, Hyundai redesigned the key, as you guys can see. You got the hidden Hyundai uh, emblem here. So it's a completely different key and it does have the smart park. So you press and hold, you first press lock, and you press and hold this button here, which starts the vehicle. Uh, the car's already running because uh, it's a little warm, so I turn on the air conditioner. But anyway, you press and hold this button here, and you're going to see the Hyundai Santa Fe starts driving itself. Right now, I am walking it, basically like a dog. <laughs> and it's a, it's a very cool party trick. Um, you know, you can use this for a tight parking, a tight driveway. And there is, uh, now that we're back here, a little bit more of that integrated H shapes all over the vehicle, the tail lights as well. Uh, of course, they're fully LED also, LED. And if you press the back button, it will back up, as you guys can see. It's turning on the reverse lights. And it's very careful. It's very careful, make sure it doesn't hit you. But of course, it knows what's, it's a, what's around itself because of the 360 degree camera, parking sensors front and rear. All right, let's take a look at the interior, the luxury features of the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. Stay tuned for that. Inside the, 20, the, the Santa Fe is all about comfort, functionality, functionality. The Napa leather seats are incredibly comfortable and the white, the white color scheme gives the interior a bright and spacious feel. The dual 12.3 inch displays are clear and responsive and now feature wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. Thank you Hyundai for doing that. And everything in here, everything you touch, it's very, very smooth. Everything is, um, feels very, very uh, premium in here, uh, being the, the calligraphy trim. Both seats are heated. The front seats are both heated and ventilated. And the second row is uh, power folding, power folding and heated as well in the in the second row. And you probably see the little kind of like little blinking lights in here. A little hard to pick up on camera. Uh, that's the sensor that looks at you when you're driving the vehicle. Very very crisp. The the screens look very nice. Also more of that Land Rover ish feel, especially on the steering wheel. Very reminiscent of a Land Rover. And Hyundai's uses uses of materials, it's excellent here. This the steering wheel is also heated as well. Moving on to the door panels, you do have what looks like wood. I'm not sure if it's real wood or not, but if it's if it's not, it's a very good imitation of it. Soft padded touch, soft padded materials. This uh, look here that looks like brushed aluminum, but it's not. It's plastic. Um, you do have memory seats for two drivers, which remembers the the mirrors the seats and the height of the head-up display which this vehicle does have um it does have ambient lighting and you can customize it right now it's on because i have the door open and moving on to the center console you do have let me turn off my light here as you guys can see a little better physical controls thank you hyundai for keeping everything separate from the main screen for the climate control, you got controls for the heated and cool front seats. You have physical buttons for the home. 
you got map you have search you have media you have of course a hazard button seek track favorites and you have your setup screen which you can control uh, all vehicle functions and things of that nature and new for 2024 Hyundai completely redesigned uh, the Santa Fe's new interface and it's completely different than the previous generation oops excuse me sorry about that put my fingers all over it things like for example like Hyundai pay which you can enable putting your payment information for paying for parking in certain participating uh, fast food fast food places and moving on to the middle here you do have dual wireless charger you have USB-C right here and they're fast charging each one you have an ultraviolet light uh, glove box so right here you can insert your devices and you can put it in here and press that this UV light button and it will automatically cleanse your your device and moving on to to the center of the glove box it's you know nice and large a decent sized glove box and you got another little oh, another little cubby right here right above the uh, the glove box and stepping uh looking on top you do have a little sunroof here that does open a little on the small side but it does the job it's tilt and of course uh, power sliding and then the center you do have a fixed glass which you can open and close the power operated shade which is also a very nice touch and again again talking about sophistication and luxury it gives the vehicle a nice luxury touch and these two center seats uh, you go on the let me just turn around for a second you go here and then you go under fold both seats and then you press these two buttons here like so let me just press that and both seats automatically starts folding which is a very useful touch and you can of course maximize your cargo if you're driving alone and then you press the same buttons up back up again and they both come back up again which is very very nice touch the seats are manually to adjust the distance but they're both power in terms of the back and the bottom cushions are both power which is a very nice unique touch that Hyundai did to that moving on to the center console kind of like a tricked out center console because you can open it like so and it's a very very deep well they do have a little you know a little cubby here that you can remove of course and it's it keeps going very very deep <laughs> center console which is very nice and uh, i'll show you guys one neat trick that this vehicle has also it has a drawer literally a drawer also before i show the drawer this lid also opens from the back so people in the back can open it like so and showing you that drawer you can just open like so if i can find the door oh here you go you just open here and look at that it's an actual drawer to put in items and this is another indication that hyundai is thinking about families function and functionality to make your life easier for you and your family both seats have USB-C on each side, so one for the driver, I mean one for the passenger, and one on the driver's side. So let's take a look at the back seats of the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. Stay tuned for that. Okay, let's step in the back seats of the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, similar materials as up front. Very nice, softly padded door uh, door materials. You do have integrated sunshades on each on each of the doors. You do have the same the, the white leather seats. Of course, the part with the window controls, and this is the controls for the heated seats in the rear. Three levels, which you can also activate from the main screen. And here you have the controls for the seats. So you press this. And you can control the seat of course yourself to your liking and this controls the bottom cushion of it which again this is like almost luxury car stuff that you normally do not find on the outside the luxury space uh, stepping inside 
there are more of those hidden H's everywhere in the climate events. You have con uh, set, uh, bill pillar mounted climate events right here. So you got, see you got the little H built in. And back here, you have more of the H's, so the 43 H's hidden everywhere. Nice integrated grocery bag holder or whatever you want to hang back here. And there's a little, kind of looks like, a, like kind of looks like the face of the car a little bit. You do have pockets on each behind both doors. <clears throat> Same exact there. And these seats are very, very nice, very comfortable. You do have a ratchet style armrest right there. Also, again, because this vehicle is at the top of the top of the line calligraphy, it's just the, the seats are Napa leather seats. These headrests are very comfortable, almost like pillow like there. There's here's a better look of the center uh, glass for the back. And there's a there's a look of the drawer, which, again, is something very, very cool and, and unique. And you have a nice center center pass through to get into the third row seats. All right, let's take a look at the third row seats and then we go for a quick drive of the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. Stay tuned for that. Okay, let's step inside the third row of the 2024 Hyundai uh, Santa Fe. And for testing purposes, you guys can kind of see, I left my my daughter's uh, booster seat in place. So, and it does have latch anchors, by the way, I forgot to mention that. You can latch latch anchors on each seat. They're right here, easy to get to, no big deal on both seats. And let's, like I said, you just slide it forward like so. And it does it, surprisingly, with the seat in place. And you can climb in with the seat in place. And let me just close the door. And then when you get in, you push this button back and the seat slowly moves back. And then of course you can just pull it like so. And yeah, it's tight. I mean, I'm five foot eight, but for a short trip, I can probably survive back here. Uh, it's not a complete penalty box. Like I mentioned earlier, you do have control here for climate control uh, airspeed, USB-C, you have a traditional household style outlet, you got two deep uh, uh, cubby, cubby hole, uh, cup holders. The seats are reclinable, so you just pull this little strap and then you can recline the seat like so and make yourself a little bit more comfortable. Um, you know, again, for a short trip. Um, and yeah, it's not that bad. Look, this is the view from the third seat. You can go through the middle, you know, if you fit. I mean, kiddos, little kids can go through the middle. Uh, also, something unique, there's also latch points over here, and all the way in the third row, which is not a common thing to find in, my, in some SUVs. But it's nice to know that Hyundai has thought about this and added latch anchors in every single row right here. Um, I believe other trims, you can get them with a bench seat in the middle without captain's chairs, which will maximize the capability. You do have a speaker right here for the Bose sound system, LED lighting up here. And if I pull my tab, I get a little bit more room, more comfort. I mean, again, I'm five foot eight. Let me spin the camera around. And this is how I would look like if I were a passenger in a third row. And it's not too bad. I don't feel, again, for me, I'm five foot eight. I'm not the tallest person on the planet, but um, it's not a bad place to be. It's not a complete penalty box. And if these seats, the person in front of you, it's a little bit more generous, you can even, you can have more room to be 100% comfortable. Uh, the seats back here are not heated or cooled. For that, you have to jump into the Palisade. The Palisades are cooled, which is interesting, in the third row. All right, let's take this uh, 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe calligraphy for a quick drive and my final conclusions. Stay tuned for that. All right, let's drive the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe calligraphy. 
All right, let's take this guy for a drive. And, you know, we're getting to a stage where, oh, I forgot to lower the third row seats, but I can see the headrests, they get in the way a little bit. Um, one comment I'm hearing, sometimes I hear, you know, oh, it's, it's good for a Hyundai or it's good for a Kia. I mean, come on, people. This is 2024. Hyundais and Kias are not crappy cars anymore like they were 30 plus years ago. Yeah, they're still working on their fit and finish and refinement. This vehicle here is very, very well put together, I gotta say. Very well put together. I don't hear any cracking and, you know, no weird noises and, and nothing squeaking and rattling. Uh, granted, this, is a, this car has 4,000 miles. It's brand new, but some car makers and some cars you know you do drive them and you start hearing cracks and rattles and weird things that are not supposed to happen with a new vehicle uh that being said um yeah this drives very good it's a it's it's a car that it's an suv that definitely was you know they they thought about every single thing in here everything has a purpose and it's definitely des designed for families and their fa and family needs and I am pretty sure Hyundai can probably can't make these things fast enough because it's a great product. Uh, even though it does not, no longer has, a, well, Santa Fe never had a V6, so let me not, not even say that. But this has a 2.5, like I mentioned, 2.5 turbocharged four cylinder engine, and the power is plenty. Plenty, I don't feel um, like this thing is struggling to get out of its own way. And the transmission does a good thing. Also, uh, I don't know if the, ca the camera can pick that up, but the lane lane watch thing is so cool, and I think every car should do that. So let me get into my usual highway loop here. And I am in normal mode, but if I put it in turbo, I mean um, sport mode, the car wakes up a little more. And yeah, I mean it. It it, it, it go. It goes. Sufficient power, I, yeah, the steering gets a little firmer. Very smooth, put it back to normal mode. Oh, no, that's my drive. And let me demonstrate what the cruise control can do. Let me bring it down a little bit. And yeah, as you guys can see, I am at driving i'm not doing the steering wheel and these sensors right here looking at your eyes constantly making sure you're paying attention and it will disengage itself once you change lanes but once you turn off your turn signals and you engage it again it's not it's a very good system um hyundai has been doing it for a while now and if so I let go again, it's, it, it, it works great. Hyundai Assist, and it knows when it's in a specific highway, it will completely take over um, the driving, the steering, the automatic braking back and forth, which comes in handy in very slow and dumb stop and go traffic. It's a, it's a system that is price, priceless. Um, the seats are comfortable to my frame. Um, I have no no complaints in that department. They feel great. And let me turn it off now. And overall, this this is a great car. This is a great vehicle SUV for families. If you're you know, and of course being being a Hyundai product you get the industry's best 10 years or 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, five years, 60,000 miles, bumper to bumper, which is basically longer than most companies out there. So that, gives, that should give you, uh, if you're still a little iffy about Hyundais and Kias and Genesis, which is all, they're all similar, similar sister companies, you have nothing to worry about. I mean, these cars are good now. I personally owned a 20, uh, excuse me, 2009 Hyundai Elantra. 
and I had it for 15 years. The only issue that I had at 125,000 miles later was unfortunately the transmission died. But what are you gonna do? It's 125,000 miles. But anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel. I, only, I also do a little bit of DIY stuff for cars. So things like changing the cabin filter, the cabin filter and the engine filter. Uh, take care, stay well, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.